the few times I started this up, it was nice and sunny, and now I, I'm ready to do the recording to start up Animal Crossing Wild World. It's a fucking storm. Now it just looks like ass. Anyway, we're here. I don't know which screens are going to be utilized. I forget how this one works. We may be switching this to uh, show the bottom screen here, which isn't a problem. I have both capabilities to show either one bigger than the other. So we'll just jump into it, man. We got, we got Animal Crossing Wild World. We're starting up. I haven't played this game since God knows when. Used to play it on the DS. I've talked about it during our Animal Crossing GameCube. This one was not my favorite, but only because it was like I, I my one GameCube that I had at the time. Like my one copy of Animal Crossing didn't work. I eventually got another, but at the time I only had this one for like a set period of time and I just got so tired of it because having only this one on the DS was kind of like like it was cool at first but you get bored of it and then you just think back and like man it's all I had it's just I want something different that was the same way with like Smash Brothers or whatever Smash Melee um, where I kind of got tired of that game because it was like the only game I had um just because we're at the bottom screen right now. Um, but it was the only one I had, and I got tired of it kind of thing. But I remember this one being fun for the most part. My dad and I shared it. it, it eventually, we weren't doing much traveling or going out, so I didn't have a whole lot of use for my DS other than playing it in whatever room. That eventually it kind of turned into the bathroom game where we would just play it when we had to take shits. So... That's all I really remember was uh, if <laughs> I'd go and take a shit, I'd be playing the DS. I, Dad goes and takes a shit. He's playing Animal Crossing and doing things 20 times better than I could in a short amount of time. It's like a weird thing, but, you know, it was what we did. I unfortunately don't have that world that me and him played because me being young and dumb, I think I started over and, like, did a joke where I... uh I, re I remade the world, and it was all Zelda characters and stuff. Like, I made it as Hyrule, and I made, like, every character that you played as a character from Zelda um, as a joke. And then I just never really continued on. But we'll jump into Wild World, because uh, it's probably going to be the same as the other one, where it's going to be a lot of introduction tutorial stuff. And uh, so I don't know how much of it we're going to do. I will probably change up the time this time around. We ended in, we did most of winter. I was thinking of either doing things in fall, <laughs> kind of working backwards here, but, uh, but who knows? We might just go to spring. Uh, gotta just check. So, I mean, we're all ready in spring. So if anything, I don't actually need to change it because we technically started spring uh, as of literally the end of last time, so we're mostly in spring, so we should be good. There's something up for me. Today is February 25th, 2024, at 5.55 p.m., right? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's an okay time to start. If I have to turn it back a little, I will. Thank you. I don't trust this clock. I ought to send it to sleep with the fishes. Fishies. Speaking of fishes, they could swim in this road. This rain would be merciless. It's calming. Oh, well, all right then. There are no pleas of some people, that's for sure. Now, wait a moment. You wee snap and turtle. I never got your name. Well, uh, Splooge already finished uh, their debts. They don't have any more. But there was another name I used at one point. I don't know if it'll let me, but I used to be Splurt. So, let's see if Splurt will be used here. Sweet. Ah, Splurt, is it? So fond of the name. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, that'd be a fine name, pure and true. It's the perfect name for a young lass. I'm not a girl. You got to be fooling. You're a lad? There'd be some egg on me face. No two ways about it. A thousand pardons. I'd be cruising around like an orderless dinghy here. 
Tell me, where is it? Where would we be going? How many characters do I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only get eight. Wait, right, let's see. I have some names. Let me just see which ones I could use. I have eight. Nope, oh, that one's nine. I know where I'm going. Where's the spelling here? Man, like a lot of the ones I wanted were eight, but that's fine. We'll go, uh... We're going to... Otto. We joke. Otto, right? Yep. So tell me, Splurt, why are you setting sail for Otto? I'm moving. Oh, you're moving, are you? Yeah, yeah Splurt. You're as at that wandering age? Yeah, I gotta ask. Why would a minnow like yourself pick Otto? I mean, it's got its charms, but it's way out in the middle of nowhere. So what exactly was it? The border. Just really loved the border. Uh, shopping. I give you that be boy logic there. Listen, not to change the subject, Splurt, but you don't look like you brought much money with you. You have enough to get settled? Kinda. Don't be, don't have a care if you have the booty for your fare. I'll just have to make you work it up, you scallywag. Well, look at that. Hotto, end of the line. Get out of my cab. Hey, hey would you look at that? The rain's even letting up. It's just raining when I pull in. It's like it didn't let up at all. I am here. Oh, God, I'm insane. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, me hearty, we've made landfall. Welcome to Hado. We got any questions. You'll be wanting to head to the town hall right there. Oh, best of luck, Splurt. Love that wearing an MVP shirt. I'm coming. Well, this is Hondo's Town Hall. So, what is it I can do for you today? I came by cab. Oh, I gotta fix my buttons here, because I think I had them weirdly changed to fit, um... One, how the control is, but also mine are uh, were a little bit switched around for when we were doing Mario Kart because some of the weird buttons. Oh, goodness gracious, you must be Splurt. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Pelly, and I'm a clerk here at Town Hall. Tom Nook was kind enough to tell me about, all about you. He informed me that to order, in order for a new residence to feel welcome, he has prepared a residence just for them. Tom Nook has certainly been in a giving mood lately. Anyway... I'm sure you are anxious to see your new home. Well, this is it. And I'm hanging out with, man, very little people, but we got Angus, Blue Bear, and Punchy. The fuck is Punchy? <laughs> well then, Swerd, I trust you can use the map to find your new home? Oh wait, do you know how to pull out your map? Yeah, totally. This button? Okay. What's this one do? That's my inventory. Got it. What's this one do? My inventory. <laughs> what does this do? Inventory. And this one? Inventory. Right, so it looks like we'll be using this screen because all the action kind of, I forgot, does take place on touch screen stuff. Looks like I got cherries this time around. Spot, don't got a shovel. So this is where I live, huh? And you already get a little upstairs, but that's just because this is where you can go to save. Though I think you can just hit start and save. But that's where like four people all share a house. You and three others. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's that button. I keep hitting the wrong things. Place in my room. 
I have a candle on a cardboard box. That's probably the safest thing I could do. Hey ho, you there. <laughs> You're splurgy. That's the youth that ordered the splendid house. Yeah, I just ordered it, called it up, and it's like, I'd like one house, please. So, what do you think? Looks quite cozy and comfortable. It's okay. You'll get used to it soon enough not to worry. I mean, an introduction. I'm Tom Nook. In addition to running the store, I build and remodel existing homes. I built your house just as yours, so I trust you'll pay it off. Once you pay it off, it's all yours. Splurt. Of course, the question is the cost. 19,800 bells. You serious? Oh, not to worry. I wouldn't ask you to pay it all off at once. Every time you lie down in your bed in your attic, your progress will be saved. I'm just pay it off bit by bit at the town hall. That's all I ask. I'm gonna cry. Worry not, worry not. If you want to know about making money, I'll tell you. Yes, actually, I could explain it to you, but... You better learn through living than listening, yes? Why don't you come work part-time at my shop? You'll learn. You'll even earn some money and learn about it living in the town. What a great idea. Top notch. It's official. Come by my shop. Don't know where it is? Check your map. Well then, I'll be waiting. See ya. <laughs> Gotta put a shirt on. <laughs> his shop is... He ran down, but his shop is to the left. Man, everything's up on this upper island, and there's like two houses, and that's it to the bottom right. Not a whole lot going. Going on. I think this one's the one that I think can have... Well, it's either this or City Folk. One of the two can have the least amount of people in it. You can have a pretty good amount in GameCube. I was wondering if I'd ever see it. You'll need to change into these work clothes. Very uniform. You know this song and dance. You've been here in a past or a different life splurt. I just like that it just says hot house splurt. Which just makes it sound like hot splurt. That suits you just fine. Since you're done, let's get you right to work. Plant flowers. You know how to do it, buddy. I'm counting on you to give this place a little charm. Say the word when you're done. He doesn't see me for ten minutes. Comes outside, and I'm just eating the seeds. Adjusting my light. Can't turn it fully off because I gotta keep an eye on my cap, and I wanna dim my lights a little. It's very bright in here. Okay, I gotta get used to my button. It's gonna take a little bit. You know, adding a little bit of some flower flowerness, I guess, is what I was gonna say to that side. Nope, grabbing it. I think I can just use my fucking stylus on this shit. the whole point of it being down there. I don't know if there's like, I think there's a distance thing for these. Usually. So I always just, I forget the distance so I just plant them very far away from each other. Plus I don't want them all clumped up. See a lot of dig spots I really want to dig, but I don't have the money yet. Not till we fish. <laughs> I don't know if he's got a fishing rod. I know he does. He has a shovel and a fishing rod and medicine when people get sick. I suppose I'll have to trust your sense of sleep. Ah, what to do next? Oh, silly me, I just remembered. You just got here. And there's only like three other people that live here. Or four. So go talk to them. The positive is the... Oh, and the mayor. He'll be around the town hall. We don't have a, f a fountain or whatever this time. Um... It's much easier because they just give you the map right away, so I know where the hell I've been when it comes to finding people. So I, and plus, there's only three, three people. So I guess I'll go to the furthest one down and work my way up. I moved out here for the shopping of all of, like, two to three people are out here. I'll introduce myself to you later. Good amount of cherry trees. I could grow more just for extra food. I, where am I right now? 
little further down and I should see the house. Are you in your house? You are. Holy shit. It's still early. It's so dark. Nakmu. Pretty brave of you to approach me now. I could be pretty intimidating. It's alert, huh? Well, I'm Angus, and I'd like to walk around. It's a morning people world, so we might we night owls gotta stick together. I like what you got. You got a pool table. He's got a fucking dartboard. This is where he takes all his dates. He's literally where everyone goes, like it's fucking Yakuza or something, or Lost Judgment. <laughs> he looks derpy. Hello there. Holy fuck, you're crazy. Holy moly, who goes there? Sorry, it's just, it's so dark and I couldn't see anything. Yeah, I mean, it's light enough, I guess. You new here? Well, let me introduce you. I'm Blue Bear. You're not going to believe where I got the name. Uh, lack of oxygen. Oh. All right. Man, Angus, I saw I gotta go meet Punchy, which that's who I passed earlier. Punchy. Saw you walking around with a net earlier. It's like there's not a whole lot of, like, real estate. You gotta be somewhere. There you are. Good evening. It's the first time we've met, isn't it? I'm Punchy. If there's anything you want to know about this town, just ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll just make it up. Hello there, let me ask you a question. Who do you respect? The mayor. You mean me? That's a good answer. You're quite wise. What's your name? Splurt. A fine name. Tortimer. Mayor of Otto. You'll see me on holidays and events. I'll be waiting for you. In the plaza. Bring your email. What? Don't just give them a nod and a hello. You just read there to chit chat. Relationships are built on trust, after all, not to mention community. You want me to chat with people? Who the fuck do you think I am? You said introduce yourself. I introduced. Good evening. Do you know it's already six o'clock? So, uh, why'd you want to talk? Tell me a story. Bert, there's something I want to ask you. Um. When's your birthday? <sighs> March 14th? Oh. So your sign must be Pisces, right? Sure. I mean, I don't follow that stuff, but yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely got that vibe from you right from the start. And how about this? Who do you like better, your mom or your dad? My mom, my dad. I like them both. Uh. Hmm, I see. Hmm. I think I understand you a little bit better. Oh, by the way, you know who I like best? My uncle. <laughs> okay. Dude, fucking, I just moved here and you're giving me hard hitting questions. I feel so uncomfortable. Did you introduce yourself? Yes, you'll get bearings in Hado faster by making friends. Dude, it's a flat land. It's way easier to navigate than the last place because there's not all the hills. Those will put uh, you in charge of furniture delivery for me. Deliver this to Angus. Don't stop to chew fat along the way. Are you just saying that because his name's Angus? I don't want to chew Angus' is fat. <laughs> don't 
Don't worry, it's a flat land and I'm still going to find a way to get lost. I like how smooth it looks for you guys. Mine's a little bit framey, but yours, for some reason, at least on my preview, looks smooth as fuck. What the hell is this bullshit? Go oh, splurt, tell me. What are you doing here? Delivery. It's not delivery. It's the sure no. What? Huh? Why are you delivering furniture? Ah, your Tom Nook's little servant. I have fun with that. You can't pay up. You gotta work for it, eh, Magmu? Well, you are looking a little sad and pathetic, so I'll help you out here. Take my tall cactus. Is that an innuendo for something, Angus? Practice your decorating skills. Drop it in your room and then slide it around. Push and pull. Don't forget to tap. You know, that tip will probably be out of your brain in a hurry, so just run home and try it before it leaks out of your ears. Dude's calling me a moron. <laughs> and he's rightfully so. <laughs> Don't have this bridge location memorized. Nope, it's up. It's just up. Got it memorized? No, no, I don't. I'm free of my hat. No hats now. All pudding hair. They used to call me some at some place. There we go. Put it by the window, you know? My tall cactus should get plenty of light until we don't have windows. Even though it's not even, it's beginning to get dark out. I like how he's like, introduce yourself to the mayor and everyone, and then don't bother with the museum. They're like, don't waste your time with that shit. Welcome, welcome back. Congratulations. You may not look the part, but you're surprisingly dedicated and efficient. Of course, the folks get the job done get uh, more jobs to do. Next task, compose some copy of direct mailing. Gotta give it to Blue Bear? Got it. Something about a special sale. Got it. God, here we go with another letter I gotta write. Uh... Blue Bear. Uh... Hello. Did your parents die? Oh, wait, hold on. Die? Well, don't go hell. Yet, yet, without checking out these sales, sailor, sales at Tom Nook Nooks And all the room I got Alright, well hey, fit it perfectly There you go, you wanted me to send something about a sale to Blue Bear, I got you Hello, did your parents die? Well don't go pale yet without checking out these sales at Tom Nooks Perfect. All right, now I just gotta go deliver the letter. Be right back, boss. Did the 
the best I could. This is the window for post office. I'd like to mail a letter. There you go. Thank you. You have anything else? Nope. I look insane. I just nuts. I have seen the world twice over. Well, did you send it? Yes, good work. Took a little longer than expected, but you got the job done. Folks at Huddled love getting mail. If you don't know how to send one, they'll come back to bite you. Well then, next, deliver a carpet. No slacking off. It's going to Punchy. Don't think you can dilly-dally. No chit-chat. Just deliver the carpet. Doing the best I can, boss. Punchy's still up here. I don't know why your name's Punchy. Say goodbye to Mr. Sun. Do you want to talk about some Delivery. Oh, a carpet. You're sure working hard, aren't you, splurt? Which reminds me, you don't have any furniture in your place, do you? Well, I have a cactus. Steel flooring? That's not really what I want. Steel flooring is like the basic flooring from the last game in one of the houses. I don't need you. <laughs> what a way to get out of a conversation. I don't need you. You just gave me... Great. Looks fantastic. I even want that carpet, actually, because I like the wood flooring better. That's just, like, the basic fucking shit from the first game in one of the rooms that you could... Or in one of the houses that start with. What an asshole. Well, I guess I can sell it. You know, when I get selling privileges. Welcome back. Nice job. Looks like you finally get the hang of things. Why, if you keep this up, I might consider offering you a permanent position. Deliver a watering can to Blue Bear. Don't get any ideas. You have to do it on your own time. With a can you can buy with your own money. Show the world how it's delivered. I'll try, boss. And then this is where Blue Bear will be like, did you send me this letter? I don't know what it means, but thank you. Blue Bear, you were over here last time. I'd appreciate if you guys stayed in your house until the deliveries were done. God, now they're going to wander more, and I have no idea where they end up. Angus's home. Wish it was Yangus, but you know, we all can't get what we want. There you are, Blue Bear. I was wondering, I was just checking this lower section to be safe. But you've walked over there. You learned how to use a bridge. Between you and me, I like J-pop a lot, too. Way fun. Wait, what? I'm just, I'm, the hell? I just wanted to deliver this. I didn't ask for your opinion on what you like. You work so hard, Splurt. It's crazy, Peach. So make my garden look pretty as me. Yay. 
Oh, by the way, you're the one who sent this letter to me? No. <laughs> I totally didn't. Let me just real quick get a screenshot. So, whoopsie. Nope. 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 Oh, God, my screens. Hey, look, we didn't change anywhere. <laughs> screenshot of this. Perfect. I love getting letters, Paige. I don't even care what they say. I keep them all. Every single one. And if I ever move to another town, I'll take them all with me. I might even show you the one good ones to my friends, and I have a lot of friends. So be really careful what you say. What do you mean? And I invite people there that put him into debt, pretty much. He's a sick fuck. Ah, uh, oh, yes, now I remember. Have you seen the bulletin board? Advertise his shop? Got it. Got it. I'll go write you an ad in your, on the bulletin board. I'm sorry. This dude just wants free advertisement. I'm like, what do you think I am? Someone in debt? Because you're right. I like that the town hall is in the, like, top left. It's not even in the center of town. Um, hey. Go to Tom Nook for your shopping Shop if shopping desires. That is one cranny you'll you'll enjoy getting. Duck. Uh, smile. Okay. I've written yet another thing for you, Tom Nook. I think you'll have plenty of business. <laughs> Welcome back. Just come up with something good, good, good. Oh, that means you're done. All the stacked up work I had needed doing is done. And since I don't have longer work for you, I'm afraid I'll have to lay you off. What's that? Your mortgage? Of course you'll have to pay every last bit of it. And if I deduct the wages, you only have to pay 18400 And since there's no more work, you'll have to find other methods, like selling and doing things. Make a living, running errands. And make payments to the town hall by depositing them into my account. <laughs> Once you paid off the loan, we can talk about remodeling your house, because it's quite small. What a dick. <laughs> Yahoo! I'm done with work. Now I'm free. <laughs> kind of. Well, now I gotta go and earn enough money to get a shovel and a fishing pole, and we're back at it, baby. <laughs> oh, since I don't work for you anymore, asshole. Nope, nope, that's my shirt. I kinda need that. My MVP shirt is back. 
There goes a bug. I don't have a net. Here to make your final payment? Cool. Anyway, did someone say more debt? First things first. Let's find all of the garbage. It actually worked out that we took until spring to finish up the last one because then I didn't have to change the date or anything. We could pretty much just because Animal Crossing snow and all that and the seasons change at the 25th. So it worked out. I have no idea when spring officially starts. I don't know if that is the 25th is when it does. I always assumed winter doesn't or spring doesn't start until much later. It all blurs together to me. I don't pay attention. I am just a potato. I just like, all right, you're free to go find out how to get money elsewhere. And I just come back to, to a shit ton of seashells to Tom Nook. It was like, here. I want to sell. Uh, you can take this fucking thing, this, this. That's 1890. Whoops, I hit back. Gotta do it again. Keep hitting the wrong button to do shit, because my controls are a little funky on this one. You have a deal. Oh, yes, that would be a shovel. That would cost you 500. Quite the bargain, yes? I'll take it. You'll be able to dig a hole. That's a fishing rod. Please, I know how to use one of those. We got our two most important tools. <laughs> I should actually get some pay. Well, actually, no, I think I can just go to the guy now and be like, look at these fossils. I think we have quick ways yet. I don't think that came until later to pull out tools. Check out what I dug up, a fossil. Missed it. I'm going to have a little harder time seeing the things because now my eyes have got to be trained on like little dig spots that are already in the same color before it was, you know, snow and I still sucked at seeing it. And I'm also on a bit of a smaller screen. So I may run by even more of them. Hey, Punchy. You're still walking around with the fishing rod. Right? I just, I lose my mind while I'm looking. My eyes are scanning for dig spots. Just can't remember where I saw them. I ran past a few, and then they just all blanked. 
So now I'm just gonna slowly walk around. Gotta keep my eyes open for dig spots. We got delicious cherries growing here today. We're not a pear place anymore. We're a cherry island. Should have fun. If I had known, I probably would have called myself Buster. But I didn't. And we're in the great place of Hado. The oh-so-amazing island run by Tom Nook instead of whoever actually runs Hado. Honey Rack. Hey, 2,000 bells. There's some money to be had here. Found Money Rock. That rock alone gave me 4,500? That was a pretty good rock. A pretty good sandwich. What's <laughs> missing? Rocks. Here in Wild World, a whole new debt awaits us. <laughs> it might take a little longer because I'm not going to just keep going. Like, I'll try to save doing like a good chunk of fishing like towards the end, but I want to try to interact with villagers a bit more <laughs> because I don't want it to just divulge into only fishing every time again, but it may start doing that as we grow later on and closer to the end because I'm like, please, we're so close. I just, I just want to pay off my debt. I want to see my family again, Mr. Nook. Never. I'll never see them. Oh, there's, I swear there's at least three, if not four dig spots, but I, I'll, I'll probably just come across it as I roam doing stuff for villagers. When I actively am looking for it, I walk by them. When I'm not looking for them, I will just see it. It's usually how this shit goes. I guess since I'm going to go to the museum here soon, I'm going to grab a few fish. That also means I need to write up a new thing for uh, what I find and donate. I don't need this list anymore from the original Animal Crossing. <laughs> Good time. I'm gonna go to the thing, so I might as well bring a few fish that I can donate for him. If I can find any. Fish. Where the fish at, yo? I must have scared them all off with my eyes. So I can't see all too well. There's one. Oh my god, I can't even see you. I caught a sea butterfly. I didn't even use a net. Get it? Huh? Huh?
Wouldn't happen to have better eyesight with your tail, would you? Oh my god, ew. I caught a football fish. Well, well. You've come a long way. worth a pretty penny, but you know what? I'm donating them because I'm a good boy. They're gonna live their life forever at a museum. Instead of sold off to Tom Nook. to do a lot of fishing. Not as many fish right now, how? Want to donate a few fish, talk to some villagers, though I think a lot of the things might be tutorial related still, but at least in this one they have a lot of, like, eventually it'll repeat, but they have a lot of questions they'll ask you and then you actually get to choose instead of them just kind of talking for you in the other one. Literally the first thing asked to me was, who do you like better, your mom or your dad? I was like, uh, um, both. Where'd you go? Back here. Damn it. <laughs> I caught a dace. I think that's how you say it. Dace in the hole. I don't know if that's how you say that one. I have no idea with that fish. Right, let's go and donate these three fishies we got to the museum and see about our fossils. Right. Indeed. Welcome to Hotto Museum. Do enjoy yourself. Heck of, oops, I just said no. I hate <laughs> I have nothing of display. Humiliating situation. Neck of fossil? Until just recently, I didn't have a license to identify. Indeed, it was always a source of back or beat grinding frustration for me. I decided to take the correspondence course, and I am now officially licensed. I fear not. I proclaim you there, fossil. I shall identify you with all speed. In any case, all on me. No more do I have to send it to a museum. I think he'll say, though, now if he has it or not, but I'll still write it down. I'm confident this is the Oculo Skull. Need to write those ones down, but it's fine. That is, I should return it to you, but I have to say, this, well, to be blunt, we don't have this in our museum. Can we keep it? Sure, take it. It'd be f great if we could find the other parts. Yes, I have more for you to look at. Look at this one. Ah, hmm, fascinating. Oh my, this is a fern fossil. 
And with that, I shall return it to you, or I should, but, you know, we haven't donated it. It'd be really helpful if you did. Take it. Yep, he's going to tell me all about it. I know, plants are crazy. Nope, I don't got anything else for you to check. I'm not done with you. I would like to donate. To, where am I? There you go. Ooh, indeed, a football fish. This is rather graphic, but football fish males can get attached to females. Literally attached, and then males often get absorbed into the females. I heard this, and I thought, how lucky I was to have born an owl. Anything else you'd like to donate? Here you go. Have a dace. You can't say I've ever seen one on the menu. Or this on a menu, to be honest, I can see why. It's rather bony, and one must consider the stench. Not too appetizing. A sea butterfly is the same family of snails as you may or may not know. You might think it's strange to have a snail without a shell. Indeed, while slugs are also snails without shells. I must admit, being lumped in with slugs probably angers the sea butterfly. Nope, I got nothing else. Now there's something I must do and send to John was a running gag that I would just do this at random points while playing on the 360 with John. I would just pull out my DS and do this and read it to him every time. I can send this to John. Thanks. Anyone else want a coffee? No? Okay. All right then, before it gets cold. One fresh brewed cup, enjoy. Thanks, I will. <sighs> Be. Bitter, so bitter. It's like a banshee screaming in my taste buds. Thanks. Right, see you later. I need to get my coffee fix on. Welcome to Hato's Observatory. Can I help you with something? You're cute. You're teasing me, aren't you? Why don't you just take a peek through a telescope? I beg your pardon, you wanted the telescope? May I ask what for? I don't know, constellations? Always glad to see a new sight for our night skies. Oh god, right, can I like make a constellation or something? Perfect. <laughs> what I've always wanted. God, I'm a child. I had to have something stupid and childish in here. Well, judging by the stars, uh, let's take a look at it. Ah, you should be able to see it best on March 13th. Wow. I mean, I guess that's fitting that I might see that close to my birthday. <laughs> I'm going to forget. 
And it's going to be late, around 6 o'clock, and I'm going to wonder why there's a dick in the sky. A really fucked up looking dick. <laughs> yeah, please. Half a bow, and I'll make a new entry for T Dog's Wish. No, oh, I'm good. I'll see that thing best at March. God. I am so sorry. I mean, I can see. I can see part of it right now, I can tell you that much. Hey, just for the record, it's not a dick. Don't get me in trouble. It's just a constellation. You're the one who's fucking gross. All oh, right, they'll like be interested and want to talk to me. Oh wow, hey there, it's Splurt. So right now I'm trying to get rid of my old lame junk. Hey, do you want to help me recycle some of it? Sure. Wow, oh, thanks, super great. Well here, you can have my robo wall. I know that you'll give it a good home. That was the one thing I liked about this, is when you run by and they have some kind of interesting of you, they'll come over or make a noise. Would you like uh, my robo wall? Oh, good. This would have went well with my steel flooring. Good evening. Oh, oh, did you want something? I'm killing time. If you touch a fruit or shake it, the fruit will fall off, and you can sell it or bury it and make more fruit. Blue Bear's Fruit Farm. What a great name. I'd shop there. Let me shake, even if I got this in my hand. No, of course you wouldn't. You want to quit playing? No, not yet. They're not going to sell for very much like before because I'm not going to another place, but at least I can still sell them for a little bit of profit. Now, I don't know if I want to do what I always do with my home, which is go for... Oh, there's the dick spot. Uh, go for like a nice... Like, I always go with the wood furnished type home. We saw it in the last place where I try to keep it like... I don't know, wood themed. But I might do something I just don't normally do for a house style and just see how it goes if I actually get the furniture to help me out you and kitty see you kitty came in he really wanted to come in the room he's just been sleeping rolling around the bed just having a great time you like to sell um some cherries it's not much you know it's only a couple hundred bells but you know i'm still poor at least it covers one of the purchases i made earlier the hell is this that's my that would be a blue box no i'm good no, I don't want to talk to you. That would be my pastel dot rug. And, I mean, not sure what theme I'm going for. Hey, hey. So he got up and he wants to go into a spot he can't go to. A brick wall. Yeah. 
get out of the way. I haven't, like, I'll have to wait. Once I find the piece or two of furniture that I really want to, like, build around or feel like it'll be the theme, that's what I can get my house to be. But the time being, I don't have, like, a theme in mind right now. God, back now when you sell shirts, right, there's hats and things. Ah, oh, you're looking at the bunny hood, 1600. Can I try it on? I look fantastic. I'm in. I'll buy it. I wonder if I can wear this with the bunny hood. Perfect. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm an idiot. I want to design. Uh, know how this shit goes. Already off. We'll go with, uh, I don't even have like a purple in this one, so I'll go back to my old ways of, I guess, green with blue, because that's usually how it is. It's just that. With this uh, PNG thing, the green was fucking up at times. Yeah, much lighter blue, but... <laughs> Help me. that everything I make, I just hate. <laughs> Why do I look evil? Perfect. There's a nice little bend in there for some reason. I don't know if there's a background I really want other than just... Okay, on my eyes. I look sad. <laughs> Basic, yet new. Me blank. Ew. And it'll be 350. Is there anything I can do for you? You tell me. <laughs> I think it's one of the options. I want to display. That's fine. It looks terrible on a shirt. The fact that it's just so big on the sleeves, that looks awful.
no, welcome to the checkpoint. I hear lone customer to shop that it's impossible to steal from. I would never steal. Oh, nothing. I was just looking. Oh, hey. Talk to me. I don't really understand everything. If you want to find something or flag that can help, change the flag. Use this. So what? Okay, what's up? I think it's fine, I think. Thank you. Perfect. We salute you. <laughs> even he, even it was confused about the entire situation. I don't blame him. The environment. Well, it's not passing, but it's not failing either. Like, like more than milk, but not quite a milkshake. You know what I mean? We need to add some green to really prop this place up. I don't know if there was anything you gained from doing donations. I remember you could donate and you hear about the other place getting better, but that's about it. Town tunes, huh? All right. It'll be good enough. Uh, no, nothing else. I'd like to access my account. I'd like to put an investment of 500 in my account. <laughs> Just to save on a rainy day. I'd like to pay my mortgage. I don't have, like, any money to my name, but you know what? I will give him... Give him that much. Perfect. <laughs> I can, like, psycho eyes behind this. Fossil still? Ooh. I gotta go and get this fossil looked at. get used to how this feels. It feels a little weirder than when I was on GameCube running around and doing shit. I'd like to check a fossil. Could you look at this one, perhaps? Mm. Mm. Oh. It's a dental challenge, but that's a T-Rex tail. Yeah, and I don't really need to write down the, uh, the ones I put for this. I gotta write down the animal ones, like the fish and all that, but the fossils, I have to, I can give it to him, he'll be like, you already donated this. But you can take it. Hope we'll find the rest of the T-Rex. Find anything or need any help, don't hesitate to ask me. Please, I'm so very lonely. I really want you to ask me things. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. It's so weird just cause going, because Animal Crossing on the GameCube can have a lot of people. This one doesn't start out with that many, and it doesn't, I don't think, that much. Again, I think it might be this, or City Folk hold the least, or the lowest. <laughs> It's like you start out with very little people in this. You can't plant any fruit without a shovel. Buy a Tom Nooks, and a fishing rod, and a watering can. Get yourself some tools. Where's your tools, sushi? Everything worth having in this world costs bells. It's a ton of 
get rich quick schemes out there. Find one you like? I pick up random junk. Then I threaten Tom Nook until he buys all of it for a ridiculous price. It's a fun and fast way to get rich. Let's <laughs> just threaten him. You said letters from the post office. You already knew that? Alright, smarty fast. You know how to attach a gift? Put it in your pocket and then put it in there and you did it. Dick? Oh, look at Mr. Smarty Pants over here knows how to fucking write a letter. Oh, good for you. Dang, you don't have to be so mean. Gonna see if there's any more fish. Maybe donate or bring before I uh, get ready to switch games. Because sadly, not much of the dialogue is that interesting right now. Because it's all just them being like, "Hey, did you know you could do this? You can do this." Like, I give it a little bit, and then they're finally talking to me, kind of normal like. Hold on it, finally, but no, I guess I didn't do it right. Screw you, fish. Took forever to fucking grab it. Oh, I caught a pond smelt. What's the pond smell like? They're like little puns and jokes that Shadow would make. <laughs> or Brandon. Or both. still over there, fish. I don't know if you went under the bridge. You really can't see. Son of a fish. Hey, Punchy. Did anyone ever bother to tell you about the town tune? Believe me, pal, I'm already aware of it. I spent way too long there, asshole. I caught that carp. Should I spell this right? Oh, I did. Good job, me. that like you know it's a totally not a pair of like fucked up shaped balls or the constellation up there it's not it's just you know it's uh, it's just a weird shape is all but it's it's totally not supposed to be a dick up there like ah oh, you can see part of the uh, something Fish, you're so far away. I just want to catch you.
Ah, oh, I caught a squid. Oh no, I squidn't. Or all, oh no, I squidn't. Squid. You have found me, squid. Oh, well, hey, I can sell you. I've already brought ten of them. I was going to say, I'm like, man, no repeats, so nothing for me to sell yet. And then instantly, the moment I thought that, hey, look, a repeat. All right, we'll, uh, we'll donate these, sell the fish. And then we'll uh, we'll get on to doing some other stuff because it's you know already getting late and I I didn't start super early like I would would have liked to. I don't know how long I'm playing for tonight because I'm a bit tired. My sleep in the last two days have really become shit more so than usual. Here is pond smelt. Buying up a freshly caught smelt and devouring it sounds scrumptious. As pond smelt are lean, they are well suited for cooking with oil. Burp. And I hear it, I think to myself, taco. Indeed, fish taco. I suppose this might be an odd choice of fish for such a dish, but I'd say, by any chance, would you like to try it out and get back to me? Fish taco. Here's a squid. Octopi and squid both have ink, and I've seen squid ink in recipes quite often. Strangely, however, I've never heard of a dish that uses octopus ink. I suppose it's particularly due to the fact that octopi produce very little ink. Ink. What ink they do make is watery and ill-suited for cooking. Is everything you have about this shit just food? <laughs> All the things I brought to you, and that whole thing involved food. I'm a little rabbit bed. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come. Well. I just want to say this fish. I already donated this one. 2,500, I'll take it. Well, we barely made a dent in our debt. We only put like a thousand four hundred into it, but we got started donating stuff. We've met our villagers. Maybe someone new will show up tomorrow, or whenever I play again, because who knows? Um, the wild world is set and ready to go. The world is created. Punchy is here. No, it's already seven o'clock. You probably already know this, but four people can live in your house. You could have your mom, your brother, your sister. Wow, practically my whole family could fit in your house. What do you want? What do you do when you want to set out for your own, you ask? Just go to the Civic Center and ask to move. Livers are kind of crummy and have a reputation of losing stuff. So I'd listen closely to all the details before you move. All right, well, I don't even need to go into my home, but we'll wrap it up there. The adventures of our wild world and our wild debt never stops. We have a little bunny hood, a little mask. Gotta save. Please don't turn off the power. Don't remove your game card. Come back and see us anytime. 
Well, there you go. Nintendo doesn't do it here, but there's my house. <laughs> it's beautiful. But all right. Until our next adventure into Wild World. 2005.